Zach's Screen of the Week, an overview of a timely stock screening strategy aimed at helping you produce more profitable investing results. Increasing sales and profit margins, that's what we're going to be screening for this time around with Kevin Matris, our stock screening expert, head of our research wizard division here at Zach's. Uh, it's kind of interesting topic, especially now that we're in another earnings season, right. because usually when sales <coughs> rise, earnings rise as well. Right. It's not always the case, however. Yeah, uh, it, it isn't. And uh, I think that's why I wanted to focus in on sales growth and profit margins this week, because... Uh, earnings season has finally just officially kicked off yep. uh, with Alcoa reporting yesterday, which was Monday the, the 12th. 12th. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, now seems to be a perfect time to review this. So I figured we would start at the beginning, always a great place to start. Mm -hmm. According to the song. <laughs> right, right. First and foremost, sales are the most important thing to a company. Without sales, there really wouldn't be anything else to analyze. And again, if you're looking at a company's sales growth, that will tell you how strong the company really is. But again, as we were talking about, just because your sales are increasing doesn't necessarily mean that your profits are increasing as well. And I think that is the, uh, one of the most important things you want to look at. And we're going to talk about that so people can really figure out how to look at these earnings releases in this uh, er earnings season. All right. How do you define margin? All right. Margin is simply a ratio. So check this out. Margin is defined as net income divided by sales. So if a company's net margin is, let's say, 15%, that means its net income is 15 cents for every $1 of sales the company makes. If a company's expenses are growing faster than their sales, this will reduce their margin. And again, in general, a company with increasing margins is becoming more profitable. That means, in my opinion, they are better managed because they have their costs under control. So again, in this earnings season, you really want to dig deeper into the numbers. Take a look at their sales. Of course, you want to take a look at their earnings, but take a look at their margins. Are their margins increasing or are they decreasing? And this will give you an idea as to how profitable this company could be in the future. Also, this will give you a really good indication as to whether or not you'll see other investors buying the earnings announcement the very next day or selling it. So margins is going to be a very, very key point. Give us the screen parameters, would you? Yeah, the, uh, the screen is pretty simple. So it starts off by looking at the 12-month trailing sales growth, and we want it to be greater than or equals to the average for their industry. So we're only going to be looking for the top companies within the industry also, too, we want the current net margin to be greater than or equals to the five-year average net margin. So again, we want to see steady to increasing profits. Those are the companies that we're after. Then we want the net margin to be greater than the net margin from one quarter ago. So it's one thing seeing the, the margin increasing from the five-year average, but we also want to see it increasing sequentially. Because if a company's margins increased last quarter, you can kind of hope or expect that you may see the same thing happen again this quarter. If you see it go down, you may see the same kind of repeat in the, in the coming quarter. Mm -hmm. Also, too, all of these companies are being applied to, uh, to Zach's number one ranked stocks. Only strong buys are getting through the screen. All right. And uh, speaking of getting through the screen, you've got some stock picks that did come through. Huh? Yeah, there was about, I think we had maybe about 35 companies that made it through the screen. Here's five of them. Amcor Tech, Ingram Micro, Intersil, JC Crew, and Right Now Technologies. A lot of different companies from a diverse set of industries, but they have all posted positive surprises on the earnings and sales their last time out. They're all seeing their margins increase, and all of these companies are going to be reporting within the next couple of weeks. Do you own any? Um, no. <laughs> right. Check out the text version of this screen of the week. If you're accessing this video from outside of Zax.com, just go to our website and scroll down the page until you get to Kevin's picture. Click on the link that's right next to it. And if you want to know more about the research wizard, the tool that Kevin uses to achieve these screens, it's Zax.com forward slash research wizard. With Kevin Matris and the screen of the week, I'm Terry Ruffalo.